came, I think, for the same reason most people came. I came to, to work with the dogs. Um, that's, that's the biggest attraction, I think. But then by the time you get here, you realise that there's actually a lot more uh, about the place. And I didn't come with too many expectations. I just came to see what it was like. Cold, dark, um, yeah, pretty miserable at times, but also stunningly beautiful in places. Some you know, a nice clear day with clients and survivors oh, swelling oh, well. And, yeah, this is a really awesome job. They love it. Uh, I think it's that's what that's what makes it so so nice to be part of. It's such a privilege to see. It's seeing them work, but also seeing them really really enjoy something and really throw all their energy into it uh, and really get behind the team and, and work together like that. And everything that's difficult about the work we do here is just made harder by the conditions that we face. I got here and it was minus, nearly minus 40. And after being outside for about an hour on the first day, about six. It's like difficult that. to get up at five and do the same thing that you've been doing for the past uh, three months. And now that you're gonna have to do it again tomorrow, Now that the clients have left, like, I really like pooping because take my time a bit and say hi to the dogs. And, and it's nice that the poo's frozen. I'm glad I'm leaving <laughs> before it melts. But they make it worth it for you. All the dogs here are very social, so it's really hard not to get um, not to get really attached to them. I will really miss them a lot. Anna and Patsy always try to find what your strengths are and try to give projects relating to that strength. And not, so for me, that was the medical side of things. I checked 100 dogs in three to four hours, and after that, I just felt really really good about myself, really good about the work I'd done and that was, I would say, probably the best day so, so far. So. This is a place where you fairly quickly learn and indeed push your, your limits and I suppose having, having the confidence and experience to know where your limits and boundaries lie and the fact that you know yeah in some situations you can push them and actually you're still fine is is something you can probably take to all sorts of situations in life. <laughs> Oi, get out of the way. Um, well apart from all the obvious dog things I think I've learned a lot of practical stuff, um, just very daily stuff that you wouldn't think about, you would learn here. Um, just like chopping wood, building things, because um, you're dealing with, with all that kind of stuff every day. Um, so I'm really happy I, I uh, learned all of those things. Well, I think every person can, can uh, walk away with the stuff they've they learn and they choose what they want to do with, with it themselves. By coming here I kind of um, realised what I what, what I would rather do with my life. So uh, maybe other people have had the same experience when they come.